everyone, this is Candy's Classic Game Shrine here, and I got a Japan crate in the mail this week. Um, I'm excited to open it, so let's check it out. For those of you that don't know, Japan Crate is a monthly subscription box, similar to like Loot Crate, Arcade Block, Nerd Block, things like that, but they send you goodies from Japan, whether they're sodas, drinks, treats that are savory, sweet, you name it, you'll find it in the box. So without further ado, let's open it up. Now I cut the tape just to make it easier on camera, but I have not opened it up yet. <clears throat> this is Japan Crate, first volume, July 2015. That's a little comic book, it's cute. It's got like wannabe Nyan cats on the back. goes over some of the candies that you'll find in your Japan crate. Oh my goodness, is this a poppin' kitchen? Yes it is! I love these things. Um, for those of you that don't know, poppin' kitchen is a do-it-yourself, make-your-own candy type of thing, and more often than not, they're kind of gross, but they're a lot of fun. The donut one is actually really good. Can't wait to try this out. Uh, this feels like some sort of gummy. Interesting. It's a gummy hand, and it's cola flavored. Okay. I don't know if you can really see that. <clears throat> I could barely see it in the packaging. Lifeguard paste candy. Okay, well, I mean, that one was pretty self-explanatory. In the packaging, it almost feels like Silly Putty with a looser consistency. So that should be fun to try later on. This almost looks like it might be a lemon flavor. Who knows? I'll probably read it in the bottom of the box. <clears throat> these are... Not sure what the hell these things are, but the packaging is adorable. What does this say? Alright, I'm assuming what's inside are little cubes. It feels like they're little cubes. Let's keep inside. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. This figures I wait to cut my nails right when they get an arcade, uh, not an arcade, block of Japan great. Okay. Oh. They almost look like potato croutons. They almost smell like potato croutons. I actually think they are potato croutons with black pepper on it. That's actually really yummy. Okay. I want to believe that this is some sort of juice slash beverage. It almost looks like one of those Kool-Aid squeezers bottles that I have. Oh, is this one of those like churro type bars? Yep. They're like the big bars, or the Z bars. These are really good. I got these in a previous box and they were fantastic. And I tried finding them locally, but I had no luck. So I'm good to, I'm happy to see that in there again. Oh man, my husband's gonna go wild when he sees these. We get these a lot at the local Japan market. These are like a sweet cheese puff. These might even have a bit of some sort of other flavoring added. But, oh man, this is good. Let's see, corn pottage, yeah. These are just a sweet corn puff. Think of cheese doodles without the nacho cheese on top and with like a slightly sweet flavor. They're really, really yummy. Um, this looks like a sour lemon, I wanna say gum or taffy. I can tell by the packaging that this is going to be too fun. Ah, yes, this is gum. So highly 
highly sour lemon gum. Can't talk today. This is interesting. Sugar, bean paste, sweetened corn, red bean vanilla, jelly. Oh, jelly bean cake. Interesting. I like red bean paste and all that, so. And the mochi filled with red bean paste. So that should be delicious. This almost looks like it's a taffy of some sort, and it almost looks like it might be lemon soda flavored. Interesting. You've got to give the Japanese a lot of credit. They have a lot of unique flavors, most of which you would be terrified to try, but after trying them, you regret not having tried it sooner. All right, for the sake of whatever, I'm going to try it. Ooh, yes, this smells like Coke or Pepsi or any cola. Mm. I actually think this might be gum. Let's carry on. Okay, so I figured by the packaging, it's some sort of chameleon candy. Maybe it wasn't gum. Oh well, I swallowed it anyway. Ah, these remind me of the Kirby gum. This is gum. So you bite into it, and they're all brown. But eventually, you'll find out inside of it is a different flavor. So it's like a Russian roulette kind of thing. These are cute. I love these. The little gag gums. What is this? Okay. Whoops. This. A carbonated soft drink. Oh, wow. Thank you. Really? I had no idea. I'm going to assume that this is some generic cola. I'm not a big soda drinker, so I'll probably leave this for my husband. Um, but this was our main beverage of the box, and that's it for this month. I'm curious as to what this red bean paste stuff is. Oh, it's in a tin. Oh, I see. It's a it's a jellified red bean paste cake. I'm definitely not opening this now because I don't have the room in my stomach for it. But that should be delicious. Now, out of everything I've gotten, a lot of it I'm familiar with. And some of the other stuff that I'm not familiar with, what I've tasted so far has been pretty, pretty good. These potato crouton thingies are actually pretty awesome. These things I just can't leave Mitsuo without my own package, so I know these are amazing. Um, well, screw it. Let's open up this Kool-Aid squeezer looking bottle thing. So you can open it and... Wow, it's a very, very strong grape smell coming through. So... This goes on the bottom, and then this twist off, kind of like the Kool-Aid stuff. not a beverage at all. It's jelly. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can, you can have the Japanese jelly stuff that just went on the floor. That is wild. And I'm not a big fan of artificial grape flavors, but that's actually pretty yummy. Oh, uh, what else haven't I tried here? This is going to take me a while. I'll probably do maybe a separate video on this if you guys are interested. That's garbage. 
Let's see, here's the three that we haven't tried. The lemon candy, I'm not too shocked about it. I've had plenty of sour stuff before. I love it. I'm not really going to bother with it. This I'm interested in, in this weird cola jelly gummy hand thing. Oh, good. Perfect. I don't even have to eat the whole thing. I can just have this tiny... Oh wow, that smells like cola. Like straight up Coke syrup. It's extremely gummy. I'd say like the consistency of a little less tough than a gummy bear. Pretty, pretty good though. Just tastes like flat soda in gummy form. Which is a little mind boggling. And here's this lifeguard paste candy. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Oh. It's just, it's okay. All right, so this is actually three separate packets of goo. This looks like something that the 90s Nickelodeon marketing team would put in like a GAC pack. Let's give it a try. And let me pick this up before my pets start eating my food. Oh, here we go. I One thing I gotta say about most of the Japanese stuff I've had, a lot of it has very easy and awesome packaging. Or easy to open packaging, that's awesome. I was going to compare it to that tube candy that you squeeze out, like that liquid lollipop or whatever the hell it's called. And it's like that at first, and then your saliva hits it, and then it turns into a green apple booger consistency. And it's fucking gross in texture, but taste is actually really good. So I don't know how I feel about you. I don't know, but that's it guys. I pretty much tried all the stuff that's worth trying on here for you. So if you'd like to subscribe to your own Japan Cree, I will leave a link in the description. Uh, feel free to follow me. All my links are in the description below. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, give me suggestions. So until next time guys, take care.